Welcome! This video guide explains who can go to the Philippines during the COVID pandemic and how is it like upon arrival in the Philippines. Going to the Philippines has changed dramatically since 2020. Taking a flight has become more than just having a passport and flight tickets. Since the COVID pandemic affected the whole world, the biggest question became, is there a travel ban? Can I enter the Philippines? When can someone go visit his or her loved ones, the girlfriend or boyfriend, the family, children, parents, and grandparents? It may not be a common knowledge because of how traveling became so complex, but it is actually possible to enter the Philippines. As long as you are not coming from any of the countries that are considered to be high risk. To know which country has a travel ban, please check the video description. Even for these countries with travel ban, Filipinos can still go to the Philippines via repatriation. It is possible to enter the Philippines, but who is allowed to go to the Philippines? Entering the Philippines nowadays is not exclusive for Filipino nationals only. Non-Filipino nationals with a foreign spouse and children can go to the Philippines. Also Filipinos who have dual citizens or former Filipinos, meaning you do not have the dual citizenship. And accredited foreign government and international organization officials. Foreigners in possession of valid certificates and investors. All of these can enter the Philippines. When entering the Philippines, you need to have a proof of eligibility to travel. These are your Philippine passport or foreign passport, a proof of quarantine hotel accredited by tourism and health agencies. For vaccinated traveler, you need to book 7 days. And for non-vaccinated traveler, you need to book 10 days. The other proof of eligibility to travel include birth certificate of the minor, citizen retention and reacquisition certificate for those who have dual citizenship, and marriage certificate for spouses. Before traveling or taking your flight, you must complete the pre-registration for the RT-PCR test in Manila. For non-Filipinos or foreigners, you might be required to do prepayment or pay the PCR test in advance. This pre-registration is a two-step registration process. Your registration is completed once you receive an email containing a QR code. You need to do this three days before arrival. Now, let's go through the steps to be taken when you arrive at the airport in Manila. There will be a briefing to be given by a Philippine personnel, normally by the Philippine Coast Guard. After the briefing, you undergo temperature check and submit your health form. Then proceed to the help desk. You will be given six stickers. One sticker is to be placed at the back of your passport. The other five stickers, you have to give these five stickers to the verification desk. Here you present your QR code and passport. Then pay the PCR test fee of 4,000 pesos in case you have not paid it yet in advance. Then have a swab test. After that, you're ready to go through the immigration and submit your arrival card. Transport is going to be arranged by the help desk. The quarantine requirement is for 14 days. For vaccinated passengers, 7 days at the quarantine hotel and 7 days at home or hotel of your destination. For non-vaccinated passenger, that will be 10 days at the quarantine hotel and 4 days at home or your hotel of destination. Normally, the test takes 72 hours to know the result. 
If you are tested positive, you will be given care. If you are tested negative, you are allowed to leave the quarantine hotel on the 7th day or on the 10th day. I hope this video helps you and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.